HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Fraser, welcome to Huddersfield Town. It must mean a lot to you to join the club with it being your hometown. Yeah, um, obviously I grew up here. It's like half, well, 90% of the people I know have been ringing me, talking to me about um, getting involved, signing um, this week. So it's, you know, it's, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my, my family and, and my friends. It's a place that, you know, is close to my heart because I, I grew up here. You must have a, a lot of memories of obviously watching football, playing football in Huddersfield. Yeah, um, I've, I've lived here because I was obviously was local before uh, for the last couple of years and just driving around Huddersfield, you know, I've played. I remember just down there, I remember playing out on, I don't know if it was there or out there, playing out there a couple of times. Um, where the stadium is, I remember before the stadium was even there, we, there used to be a fairground. My gran just lives up the other side of that hill. So we used to walk down, go to the fairground and that. So it's, it's obviously, I've got a lot of fond memories of Huddersfield because like I said, it's so close to that. Did that make the choice even easier for you, knowing that obviously you could stay living here, return home? Yeah, exactly. You know, my family are delighted that I'm going to be close again. Um, the, you know, there's, when you've, you're a free agent, you don't know what's going to be uh, what's around the corner. So I could have been, I could have been in London. I could have been in Birmingham. Could have been in Scotland. Overseas. It's, you know, it's. Um, it's one of those things where it's, it's uncertain football. So it's, you know, they're, they're delighted. I've got three young children as well. So they're even happier that they can still see the mates, the cousins, you know, the grandmas, granddads and stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's brilliant. Especially obviously living here over the last two years, you'll have had a real insight in how much the town got behind the football club. Yeah, you know, I've never seen so many Huddersfield Town shirts in my whole life. You know, it was, the trip to Wembley and all that, you know, getting promotion and stuff, it was, you know, it's it's done a lot for the town and um, it's really put football, you know, it's mainly, not mainly, but it's been a rugby town on it for a long time. And a lot of people play for rugby, but, you know, now the football's, you know, surpassed the rugby and it's it, it's, it's great to see, you know, for, for me, myself, a fellow footballer, uh, someone from Huddersfield, that, you know, the football's a, a main attraction in Huddersfield. And for you, obviously, you had a fantastic year at, at Hull City. How does that help, obviously, joining a new club, the confidence where you've scored 12 goals and got six assists? Yeah, I was, you know, I've just been speaking to some of the staff here saying that this is the best I've felt, like physically, uh, condition-wise. Played a lot of games over the last two seasons, which has, you know, helped me a lot. The, the season before, I didn't play much football, so it was, you know, it was difficult to, to get fit at first at Hull, but, you know, I've had, had a great couple of seasons there and worked hard and getting older, but I don't feel it, like, physically, anyway. Um, it's um, exciting, hopefully this year, you know, I can, I can build on what I've already done the last couple of years and, you know, take that on for the next two or three seasons. Do you feel like your own game is getting better and still developing, even though you're 31? Yeah. I'm a believer of, you know, you can always learn something, no matter how what your what your age is um i'm always but you've got to be willing to do it but i am willing to you know stay that extra half an hour after training or come in that bit earlier you know work on things develop things and because i'm here to improve myself i'm here to help the team and um they've already got a head start on me so far so you know i'll be doing everything i can to try and keep up catch up how hard have you been working over the summer obviously on your fitness to to prepare yourself i was um I've been doing a lot of gym work on, on, my, on my own. I went over to Manchester to play five side with some of my friends. And I even trained down at Brighouse a couple of times. One of my friends plays down there. They let me train down there a couple of times, which was, you know, I was very thankful for. Um, but yeah, just trying to keep active. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got three kids, so they keep me on my toes. But it's, it is difficult. But, you know, hopefully once I get back in the mix, um, I'll, I'll get up to speed quickly. What's Jan Zivert told you about the club, about the role you could play here? Um, you know, we sat down, had a brief meeting with him, just about, you know, his philosophy is, you know, how the whole, um, the relegation, you know, it affects everyone's confidence and stuff like that. He's, he's been working hard last six months to try and build 
you know, um, confidence back up as, as such and, you know, try and get that winning feeling. It's important to get that winning feeling back in the championship as um, quickly as possible. You know, you know, got a good group of players here. Um, you know, they all um, bring out each of the strengths and things like that. So it was just, you know, he spoke really well of the club and he, I, I really impressed with, you know, his vision of, of where it could go and how I could fit into that. And I suppose your experience will help bring that winning mentality back and help the younger lads especially change their mindsets. Yeah, exactly. You know, he mentioned the likes of Tommy, who I played um, at Hull with last season. Players like that that can, you know, use their experience not only just in this league but is in in life. You know, to to some of the young lads and try and give our advice, our guidance, try and improve them as players, and you know, which will in turn improve the whole team. Did you speak to Tommy before joining here about how things were going over the summer? Yeah, he's, I think he's he's fitted in well. Um, saying a good bunch of lads, just just you know, echoing what the manager had said to me as well. But it's you know, it's always good to hear from a you know, second opinion. It will be good, obviously, for you to already go into the dressing room, know him, and you can fit in gel straight away. Yeah, yeah, it's like first day of school, isn't it? Um, it's always nice to, to have that one familiar face, and um, yeah, Tommy's a great guy as well, so it's even better. Just finally, obviously. You've seen how excited the town has been over the last few years about the football. You've, you've lived in Huddersfield. What would it mean to you to, to get out on the pitch at the John Smith Stadium wearing blue and white stripes? Yeah, it'd be, it'd, it'd be great. Um, it'd be brilliant. It'd be, it's going to be crazy, the amount of faces that I'm going to recognise in the crowd. Um, the amount of people that, like I said, text me already. It's, it's ridiculous. People that I've not spoke to for years just <laughs> messaging me. but. Yeah, it's going to be a proud moment, you know, for me and my family, um, starting here and, you know, g going through the whole career and then, you know, coming back here. It's, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be real good.